Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, 15 Minutes of Game, with a uh, chill game called Coffee Talk. That's uh, Games with Gold. It's, it might be the start of a new series I've been thinking of doing where I play Games with Gold uh, from Xbox. There are free games you get every month, and you know, sometimes free just is not enough to push you to get the game. So I'll play them for you. I'll 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 fall on my sword and play little unknown gems like coffee talk, so you don't have to. So let's hop into it. I know absolutely nothing about this game, but uh, you know it's got all, it's got good good music. All right, get to name my barista. Uh, since it's coffee talk, you got to be Jerry. Uh, yeah, Jerry. I hope I'm a man. Not that I'm opposed to being a woman, but uh, I would put Jerry with an I if uh, that's what I want. All right, we got. It looks like we got everything we'll need. All right, let's get started. Ah, an achievement already. Seattle, 2020, a city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. It is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. All right, elves. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes, started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Indy! I was think it was Henry. Most of these stories are left untold. But some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take a residence in some stranger's memories. I need to boost the tech speed here. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping place where people share their stories so I'm like a, a bar but do coffee shops usually open at like midnight and these are their stories Tuesday September 22nd 2020 oh, a little bit in the future All right, that should be better. Miss? Whoa, ooh, it's you. Hey, Jerry, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem though. Huh, what happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. First customer? Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. I don't get it. So, I'm used to taking things slow. I should have waited. She would have said it. Huh, writer's block again. You got that right. What are you writing now? Really regretting doing these voices. Do you remember my plan to? <gasps> ah. Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. 
And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Lady, don't tell me how to do my job. Anyway, I really need the cheap a shot espresso. I drink a lot of coffee. What did she say she want? Triple shot espresso? Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Oh, amazing. Alright, but how do I make it? Oh, that's my birthday. She's an Aquarius. But seriously, how do I... Oh, the ingredients are literally right under it. It's coffee, coffee, coffee. Alright, I got you. We want coffee. And then we want coffee. And then we want coffee. Brew it. Mmm. Serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Dang, you gotta have high hopes, Jerry. Mmm, that's aroma. It's pretty good. First coffee I ever made, I gotta say, it's pretty good. Yeah, exactly what I need. Hell yeah, lady, we only serve the best. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something. Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing. Wait, are you a... Oh, you're, you're a lady. Okay. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. Like a uh, tell-all novella. So, hell yeah. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. Well, at least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? Oh, sure, this is me. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. It sounds like an okay... It's, it's an elevator. It's literally an elevator pitch. You can do that. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings. Jesus, a month? That sounds uh, pretty fast. And get the fiction publishing division... To sign me up for a publishing deal. Hell yeah, Freya. Woo. Freya, I knew I, I knew good things about you. Don't don't forget how 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 I helped you in the coffee shop to, to, to build your confidence. That sounds great. What about your job at the evening whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. And I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Yeah. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Err. Hee 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 hee. I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, uh, well... It was so hard that, well, after reading it, 
I said it just delete everything immediately. Oh, amazing, lady, you're on, you're on, you're on track. You green-eyed, green-haired, aesthetic-looking lady. So zero. <sighs> yes. I really need to finish it in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off, Jerry, you gotta be a little more supportive. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. Hell yeah, it's customer number two. I thought it was just gonna be this this boring lady talking about her book all night. I'm glad you come. Welcome. Hi there. Alright, I'll call you Antlers for now if you're not gonna tell me your name. Hello. Good evening. Oh, we've made some friends. I'm not doing two voices for these people. I'm not I don't have that many uh lady voices, unfortunately. Good evening. For here, miss. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order though. What do you recommend? Oh, triple espresso. That's all I know how to make. That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend, Antler Lady, and Antler Man. I'm not planning to be all awake all... Oh. Bummer for him. So definitely no coffee. Well, you came to the right place. Coffee shop. How about something chocolatey? La yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I should have done that, uh, Freya. Anything with chocolate in it, please. Lady, I got hot chocolate. Check this out. Let me check my phone, because Lord knows I don't know how to make crap. Ooh. Alright, we got dark chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Oh, amazing. I don't think that's how, uh, hot chocolate is made, but what the hell do I know? Brew that gonna be uh, super bitter and a little sweet but uh, I think you'll love it serve the hell out of it you like dark chocolate one cup of yeah, one cup of chocolatey goodness thank you oh our phone's got little antlers on it too so warm oh it's a little it's, it should be hot I'm, I'm sorry uh, so you're waiting for your boyfriend yes he should be here soon look at you now you went from empty to three customers in one night. Hell yeah, that'll pay the rent in downtown Seattle. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Well, see, a lot of people after midnight, they like to sleep. Uh, I didn't really think about that uh, when I when I opened this joint. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm slowly building my clientele. You're my first two customers in uh, two months. But uh, I, I feel like things might just turn around. You know what I mean? Because it's the only shop that still opens past midnight. It's mostly empty. Lady, I just told my story. Now that you mention it, it is good for business having the coffee shop. Is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Oh, well, no. Hi. <laughs> Laughing at my business and my business. Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. There's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. But how can you sur survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Jerry, here is darn rich. That's the secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Jerry can manage. I'm sure this place isn't bankrupt, isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's my voice. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be using it for Freya. It's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? Yeah, I I, I, uh, I, I own the business. Oh, you're talking to Freya. I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. You're not really working, though. Not so many uh, options for that. Really just busted my chops. And no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know? You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. 
writer at a coffee shop. I know, super interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but, but not all. That's so cool. Then I, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know where, what to write about. Hell yeah, we got customer number th three. Hey, what's up, bad boy? With the scarf at night. Wel welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. Had a nice chat with these fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Would you like to order something? <laughs> or you can you, get, you can get to stepping. Hmm. <laughs> Surprise me. Oh, hell yeah, bro. I got you. What kind of order is that? You, know, you should know your boyfriend by now. Well, I don't really know what to order. This might not even be your boyfriend. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake. With milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Oh, latte art, you artsy mother lovers. All right. Let me break out the old, the old brew pad app. You'd probably like a cappuccino. You sophisticated. All right, that's coffee, coffee, and milk. All right, that's bitter. And it's cool. Oh shoot, I can draw it? Oh, I didn't even really do it. Here's your order. Haha, <laughs> is this what you call latte art? That's cute. You <laughs> artsy mother lover. Perfect. Anyway, I was distracted by some work, plus there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. Baileys! I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. Neither of you have. You're very rude and disrespectful. Get the hell out of my shop. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? Yeah, where the hell are they? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Yeah, we know your name, lady. Nice to meet both of you. I'm nice to meet both of you. I'm Jerry. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Wow, what are the odds? Seriously. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. That's why he bagged on my art. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were the contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are lost drunks or criminals, so, so most of them. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're s s good with your fists. Lady, I, I do not fist my clients. And if I did, that that's certainly none of your business. Not as good as your coffee making skill, though. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. 
Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. All right, that lady was uh I don't think she's writing that book to be honest. She's uh got procrastination written all over her face. Should we move to other seats too? Nah, here is good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. Finished my personal so personal early so I could get out of the office. It's midnight. Plus my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the in the old butt. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I can go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. Should make a meme about her. Yeah, memer. It's 2020 memer. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Jerry here about how to deal with annoying clients. Hell yeah, I'm dealing with two of them right now. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying client customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have I do have my own methods. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's a good lesson to learn for the day. Is that your side piece, Lua? Your parents? Yes. So you talk to them? Yeah, does she know you're dating an elf? I did. It didn't end well. No. What did they say? A lot. Spill it, girl. They won't give us a chance at all. Like, I could see that coming a mile away. She's got two antlers and you got two pointy ears. Anyone but enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. Even this alternate universe. Racism. Ear, pointy earism and antlerism. They, they still exist. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. Got into a fight with my old man. Excuse me, folks. One second, I gotta... Gotta blow the old nose. Oh, no tissues. Alright, we'll deal with it. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't e I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. They called you a, a pointy-eared, you know, pointy-eared, purple-skinned, crazy son of a son of a gun, Lua. I'm sorry. What do they say about me, or about my race? I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old uh, malarkey, mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. You guys are immortal. About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you about how if you outlive me. No other elves would want to be with an elf. That's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, she's a succubus? That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We'll just continue like this. What do you mean? I don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. What a man. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. For real? If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. 
You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look to look deep down. We should probably look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Blue, wait. Oh, buddy. You know, just give her some time. Just give her some time, man. Just a little bit of time. She'll she'll come around. Sorry you had to listen to our problems. I uh I'm literally chained to this spot, so it's not on you. That's all right. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. Heh, <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? La buddy, this is not a bar. Sadly, no. This is a coffee shop. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? Yeah, that cup of coffee in front of you. Do you like green tea? Do you like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Alright. Let me whip out the old... Hold on. Yeah, you need this. Hot on cold. Green tea, milk, milk. Green tea, milk. Milk. Brew it. All right, this time I got you. school of the arts buddy you've never seen anything like this serve the hell out of this here's your green tea latte this is good thank you for this by the way are you married me no do you have someone you love I love this coffee shop but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for heh <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can, if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. I don't, I don't stand for that racist talk. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an attorney to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an internal, uh, a booty hole. Anyway, I need to know. I need to go now. And probably drink myself under the sun. Uh, un drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Uh, you're going to a table, um, I thought. You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay. You have a good night, then. You too. Alright, three customers tonight. I made four drinks. Uh, that's, uh, that's about uh, $20 in revenue. Uh, including the overhead and the fixed costs. Uh, we're in the hole about uh, uh, 400 bucks today, but that's not, that ain't too bad. 